Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers to Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Vikings playbook. This is a very, I'm very excited to bring you this formation. This formation here looks pretty familiar. It's been around uh, something similar to it. I'm not sure if it was called the A slot, but I found a couple of plays in it that I think we're putting this year that are just outstanding. Uh, an awesome, awesome, awesome uh, mini scheme I'm about to bring you, uh, including one of the better pass plays that I've seen. Uh, something that should basically be unstoppable. I don't really know what kind of defense uh, could shut down every route. I'm going to show you, but it's out of the single back A slot. I want to give a shout out to the people that were that were uh, asking for Vikings playbook uh, because I found some great stuff in here. Some of the most interesting looking uh, schemes or uh, setups that I've seen, like this jumbo near here that wasn't in the game last year. I'm going to make something out of that. Uh, hit the like button if you guys want to see that. That I mean, aside from the run plays, which is pretty obvious, I got some really creative pass plays out of that. So there's only six plays total, but I, I come up with some crates. <laughs> I probably use every one of them. So um, hit the like button, like I said, if you want to see that. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's get into this first play. Uh, but like I said, this was requested, so make sure uh, you guys are leaving in the comment section what you want me to uh, do. Uh, because it wasn't the most requested. The most requested by far was the Packers and the Raiders. Um, but, you know, I just, somebody said something and it hit a string. And uh, I, I looked into the Vikings and I found something great. So uh, let me know what you guys want to see. So the first play that I'm going to show you, the one that I'm really all about right now is the post wheel shallow now this play here has some similar concepts that have been in other games but uh, this is the first time I can remember seeing this so we're gonna go we're gonna pick that uh, we're just gonna go pick random three four um, you know this this is a, basically a running formation with great passing plays so if somebody doesn't match uh, with the weak box system this year say they come out in a nickel or something like that is your option to switch over to a run and pound it so let's pick a three four all right, so not only is this one of the uh, you know better passing plays that I've seen, I, I really don't know uh, what type of defense would stop everything I'm going to show you, but um, it's one of the easiest, too. There's only one adjustment you're going to make, and that's going to be to put Carter here, the triangle route, on a slant. That's it. That's all you got to do. If you want to, you can motion Cook out here. I think it's better to leave him in as a blocker, but if you want to use the Carter route a little bit more effectively as a check down, uh, it's best to have this uh, you know running back pulling uh, the zone uh, back so he can come open underneath it, but he's really going to be last in your read progression anyway So I really wouldn't worry about that your number one read is really uh, what Diggs and Treadwell are doing to whatever coverage linebacker is in front of um, Of Diggs if it's a man coverage if you see a cornerback over there, which just looks like a man coverage uh, Typically Diggs will burn this corner on a man route on a man coverage because if you have, as long as you have a speed guy there the fastest guy guys digs you want your fastest guy there uh, where, where he's at now he's got Josh Norman on him I'm pretty sure he'll be, he'll be beating the hell anyway but if you got a top notch speed guy you want him in that slots position basically um, so basically what he's going to do if it's a man coverage he's going to get toasted the circle route's going to get toasted if it's a zone coverage you're reading what that linebacker or what that cornerback uh, you know, if it's if it's like a dime or a nickel or something like that, whatever the the coverage uh, person is in front of Diggs, you're reading what he's doing. If he goes outside with Diggs, that means Treadwell's going to be wide open. If he goes inside where Treadwell is and tries to cut off Treadwell, that means Diggs is going to be wide open. You're going to have to pass lead to get Diggs open, uh, you know, precisely. But either way, um, one of those two guys is going to get open against his own every time. If they don't for whatever reason, Hodges, the X route tight end, is coming open right underneath them. Uh, for a nice easy check down catch and run probably 10 15 yards so it's really impossible there's too much going on in that one guy's spot for for really any way to one of those three guys will be open every time guaranteed other than that um, like I said, this this route here, this actually play, it looks like, I'm running from the center of the field, but I'm going to show you here. I'm going to call, call pause. You can run this from the short side. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and let's respot the ball. You can run it. It might help to run from this side, but in honestly, all honesty, you can really confuse your opponent and run it from the short side. That's how effective this is. So let's do that. So let's make our quick little adjustment. A pass lead to the outside, like he says, he's open right underneath. The second I saw that guy go in, I go outside. He said, "It's a real simple read. You're just reading what that guy in front of Diggs is doing. This looks like a man coverage, and I'm just bombing it up, lobbing it up, I should say. Make sure you lob that pass. Touchdown. So I'll run this a couple times. I'm gonna run this to the open side too. I, I don't want to just." Oh, come on, get them burners, Diggs. Get them burners. Man, Norman is doing a pretty good job out there. One of the better cornerbacks in the game, but he's still getting beat. Norman is, is, he probably doesn't really have that type of makeup speed. Here we go. We're going to pass lead outside. Tight window. 
Yeah, Norman's one of the better corners. He doesn't typically have that type of makeup speed, I don't think. And we're going to, up top to Bradford again. I mean, this is just a great play against man coverage. Touchdown's easy all day. This play is so money. It's so hard to make a mistake here. See how you just you're just watching that one linebacker. He dropped back. He did the right thing. I go underneath for ten. You can run this play the entire game and just keep turning those sticks. And I actually didn't do that right. Oh, get in there. Oh, I did do it. Right. Let's go touchdown. I, sh I should have threaded it. That was a scenario where I probably should have bulleted it, and I just did. I didn't put enough heat on it, but it still worked out. Oh, come on. Let's get this touch. Yes, yes. No, that's a touch. Now he was in there. Pile on, baby. Let's go. We are just scoring at will right now. I, I promise I'm not going to run this too many more times. Oh, we, I didn't throw that quick enough, but it still worked out. Oh, look at that juke, man. We're just going off right now. <laughs> Let's go. Vikings uh, offense on smash. Let's get it. Oh, I just didn't do that right either, but you know what? It's still working out. Oh, what the hell? Diggs is a beast. Yo, I'm going to get Diggs right now my mud squad. Let's go. My timing is just not on point on every one of these throws, but you can see how much space I'm having. There's so much room for error anyway. So I guess I'll run this one more time. I don't know if I really have to. I would like another touchdown though. And that was actually not a good pass. Yo, Stefan Diggs, you, I'm getting you in like five seconds on my fantasy, on my squad, on my mud squad. He is a beast. All right, let's move on to the next play. Now this formation right here, uh, I found in the Buccaneers playbook. I was labbing that playbook and I found these plays. The reason I'm showing you this, most of these plays are in the Bucks playbook. If you use the Bucks playbook, you're gonna be happy. The one play that is not and that is crucial to the success of this system is the halfback toss strong right there. I'm not sure if that stands for strong. But either way, it's the ha that's the best run play that I found. They have a counter play in the Bucks book that's not in this book, and honestly, I think it was ass. But this halfback toss strong is just about as effective as the um, as the as the pass play I just showed you. And I, I have plenty more pass plays to show you in the future from this playbook. But for now, the second best play and what makes this formation, this combination of plays so deadly is that play. So let's pick that. We have to move the ball back to the center. We can go three, four. Like I said, if somebody comes out, if somebody messes around, tries to switch it up and hit you with a nickel or something, this is going to kill that. But we're going to run against three, four anyway. Switching up, we're going to move the ball back to center. It really doesn't matter, uh, but you want some space. So I'm, I have an option to run this to either side. There's really two audibles, two ways you can make this. If you want to, you can motion over this tight end. Um, a couple of plays that I have in the Bucks. Uh, scheme that I made out of the same thing. The tight end motion is pretty good, uh, but I'm not going to really say that that's the best way. I would say the best way to do this is just straight up hit the uh, the right stick to the left and just run it towards your wide receivers. If you leave it how it is, if you think you're going to get an adjustment advantage on the other side, motion this guy over um, and just you know move that corner back out. There's really is really so many different ways you can run this. Um, so it's really up to you. So what I think I'm going to do though, uh, I, I think the most effective way. Uh, even though I have at the moment a blocking disadvantage, I mean, I'm messing this whole thing up. Even though at the moment the blocking disadvantage I have is kind of, um, well, it was anyway. It was a linebacker being blocked by a receiver. Now it looks like I got a safety being blocked by a receiver, which I like a lot better. So let's go ahead and let's flip it. Let's run this one time. And I've got to make a guy miss, and I didn't do it. Just working my way into this. So let's go ahead and let's rock this a few times. Oh, there's some good setup. There's some good set. Oh, man, almost. There's about 10. I'm getting more and more. So we went ahead and put our real starting running back in. I just want to see how Dalvin Cook was. Uh, but I know Murray's an absolute savage. Great pancake out there. Great juke move. There we get 15. Like I said, this is just an outstanding way to mix in um, a run. So they have to respect the run. You can't just go all straight past. Oh, man. Come on. Something like hold that block, bro. Um, but like I said, it's, it's probably best to motion that receiver over sometimes so you don't have a receiver blocking a linebacker because you're not going to make a living off of that. All right, so let's go. I mean, look at that big hole right there. I mean, that's a perfect scenario to cut it up inside. And if you get that right, you get the wrong block, bro. You get the wrong block, I'd have been gone if you hit the right guy. All right, so let's go ahead and let's rock this a few more times, see if we can get some... Uh, oh, my goodness. Sometimes that lane right up the center there is there, and I get my first touchdown. You got to be where, keep an eye on that. Yeah, you can see this is a nice 10, 15-yard complement with relative ease. Um, to get, you know, to go with that run play. I mean, just make a guy miss every once in a while, and that's it. Run this with a better offensive line, you'll get much better results. This is not a very good offensive line. Oh, we're going to we're gonna end it on a touchdown here, though. We're going to end it on a touchdown here, though. 
There's some good blocking. Alright, so that's it for part one. If you guys want to see part two and more Vikings, like I said, I got a really good one out of the Jumbo Near. Uh, hit the like button, I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, Mad Money Shit out.